first I want to ask, every year, Resident Evil, is just, it's faithful to us that way. What is it about this franchise that makes the audience keep demanding more? You know, I like to feel like, it's funny because I say it takes a lot of love to create evil, <laughs> but it's true. I feel like the love and the passion that we put into these movies kind of gives birth to a great fan base because I think when you do things organically and you put a lot of passion into it, you know, people feel it. And, you know, we don't do anything that's like there to trick people. You know, when I do a stunt, I can do that stunt. You know what I'm saying? So, and people feel that. Like, if my, for instance, like me and my stuntable, obviously we do, like she'll do the wide, wide shots, things that I don't have to do, things that they have to shoot after I'm done off set. But at the same time, if there's something that she can do but that I just can't, I'm like, no, we can't have it in the movie because I want to be able to stand behind every step of the way, you know, and I want to be able to do it. And I think people pick up on that, that kind of feeling that it is organic. It's not just something that's like, okay, every year at this time, there's another Resident Evil movie. It's like, you never really know. It's all based on inspiration. It's all based on ideas. And, um, you know, usually, you know, my husband will just, every couple of years, be like, oh, I have an idea <laughs> for another Resident Evil. I'm like, oh, okay, tell me what it is. And I'm like a real fan of it too. So we all come from being fans of the game. I mean, Michelle Rodriguez, when we did the first one, we both connected on the fact that we love the game. Um, when I did the first one, I was playing it like all week with my little brother and when I heard about it, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna audition for this because my little brother is gonna flip out if I'm the girl from Resident Evil. So, you know, everybody, and Paul also, I mean, he really comes as a fan to the table. So, you know, I think people feel that. We chatted with Paul W. S. Anderson and he compared you to Sigourney Weaver Alien franchise. Is that a flattering comparison for you? Oh my goodness, are you kidding? Ripley is the best. Um, and yeah, I mean the Alien movies I just love. They're some of my favorite sci-fi in the world and Ripley is like the goddess of female action so it's a great compliment. You were talking about fans earlier and Resident Evil has been brought to Comic-Con before and devout fan base. Being from San Diego, we love hosting you guys and having you here. Thank what, you. What, what impresses you most or what do you appreciate most about the fans? Well, I, I feel like the thing I really appreciate, obviously, is their loyalty to the franchise. But I think also I relate to them in so many ways because like when I'm on Twitter and you know, I talk to a lot of these people myself and we have kind of very similar mindsets. Like I have a lot of hobbies, they have a lot of hobbies. Like what kind of makes a geek or a nerd? It's like usually somebody that has a lot going on in their personal life, whether it's making model trucks or you know, do whatever it is that they do, you know, you put a lot of passion in. And I'm one of those people that has a lot going on whether it's different aspects of my career or my hobbies like sewing dolls or building doll houses. I guess anything doll related I'm really into. So, I, you know, I just got like the whole original Strawberry Shortcake collection on eBay. Do they sell smell? Literally, and my four and a half year old, like my friend picked it up and she's like, watch out, that's an original Strawberry Shortcake doll <laughs> from 1982. Four and a half. Okay, daughter of a geek. <laughs> Just quickly, where do we find Alice at the beginning of this film and, and where does it take her? Um, well, I'll give you this much. We pick up where the last film left off. Um, and where it takes her is places that she never thought existed. How about that? How about that? Thanks.